you know, the whole emphasis this year is, is not about what Cooper Vision can do for you. It's more about what you guys have done for everybody else. And to me, that means more than anything. I mean, I can sit up on stage and talk about products and pricing and promotions, but at the end of the day, what is that really going to do? I'd rather see a different impact and learn from another experience from one of you sitting in the audience. I mean, that would move me to be a better person. To me, that's contagious. If you prove that to me, I want to prove it to somebody else. And I hope the next person wants to prove it. So I encourage everybody just to take a look inside and try to do something a little bit different this year. The day that I go to work and I don't like my job is the day I'll retire. So I'll be working till I'm 110. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even stand it. It's something that you wear on your face every day, and people are going to see you in it, so you want it to be really special. It's important to them, so I make it just as important to me. Oh my god. Yeah. It's from Kissing Boys. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> All right, I go make this tighter, and yeah. you go make these straighter, okay. and you make you a new woman. All right. okay, good. She sees that you know the community is an essential part of what we're doing and she just loves being there to help. She's a perfect example of pick what you love and fight for it. Pillars is a mental health and social service agency. We could not do our job efficiently without Kathy Mary. If we call her, she's there within 10, 20 minutes. And if we say we're out of diapers, she immediately will show up. When you leave an abusive relationship, I think you feel very alone and you're very scared um, and don't realize that there are people who are there for you that will help you along your journey, that you are not on this journey alone. And sometimes perfect strangers are willing to do whatever it can to help you to succeed in this journey because it's very easy to go back. It is your love, it is your kindness, it is your presence that just makes what we do every day, which is hard work, so wonderful and enjoyable. And we just love you. Oh my goodness. So Thank you very <laughs> much. Absolutely true. I do this because of my love for the organization and my love for these women who are going through a really rough time. To me, it's just an act of love for you and to make the place for them know that there are people who care about them. I came to the United States with $20 in my pocket. But there was one thing that I had that many people don't have, and that's hope. I was born in a, a small village in Tanzania. We didn't have electricity, no doctors, no police. That was our life. <laughs> it is now 35 years I've been in private practice. It feels like it's a, <clears throat> a dream that I'm living. You know, it doesn't feel real even today. It's in your job description. <laughs> He's caring. He truly is. He strongly believes in family. Dr. Nasser is more than my employer. He has been my mentor, my, my family. He's my brother. He's right here. Every time he goes on his missionary trips, he brings us stuff back and shows us pictures. He'll tear up. The office is, is a buzz when it comes time to, to head on the yearly mission trips here. So, you know, it, it doesn't matter what role you fill, it's, it's inspiring for everybody around, absolutely. I'm just a face. I'm there in, uh, in the field, uh, but it's because of their support uh, I can do what I'm, I'm doing. So we have been going to East Africa for now 10 years. I've seen patients up to minus 23 who have never worn glasses before. A pair of glasses can change their life. My culture, my heritage, helping others was uh, never a choice. Helping others was part of life. Seeing somebody who has lived this, I feel like I've got a template to follow along with. Uh, and because I see it every single day, I know that it can be done. It gives me something to strive toward.
to see you. Good to see you too. Oh, beautiful. Rosa came in and her, her main complaint was, you know, gosh, you know, I've, I've always had headaches, but that's normal for me. And I just thought that that's how I was gonna live the rest of my life, with really awful, terrible migraines. Here's this 18-year-old girl who just graduated high school, who's working to save up for college, and I just told her that she might have a brain tumor. <laughs> but I had um, great support. Dr. O'Brien and the whole team were there too. They were definitely a part of my um, support team. Fortunately, surgery, chemo, and radiation, she is cancer free. And I'm so fortunate that we were able to hold a fundraiser for her and uh, replenish her college fund for what she had to spend in her medical bills. Thank you for everything that you've done. And I just really appreciate it. Dr. O'Brien, the optometrist, was the one who figured out that it was a stage three brain tumor. We appreciate everything that you've done. My family appreciates everything that you've done. We all love you. We love you. <laughs> you literally saved my life.